Hey everybody, welcome to another CDX review. This is Luis, otherwise known as Sentai Seiya on Collection DX. And today we're checking out a Predator, uh, the City Hunter Predator to be precise. And this is from the movie Predator 2. And the toy was made by Hot Toys. So the Hot Toys Predator actually stands at about 14 inches tall. For size comparison, we have a St. Cloth Myth figure right next to it. And that's about 6 inches in height. Starting at the top, we have a lot of nice detail on this figure. We've got the Predator mask, and if you look a little bit closer at that, oops, looking closer at that, you can even see the nooks and crannies on the mask. The paint applications are nice and everything. Um, this being a Hot Toys, you know, 1-6 scale figure, uh, they can do a lot more with this size than you can do with the 6-inch uh, figures. The hair. It's actually really nice. It's this soft kind of plastic. Looks really good. Um, doesn't quite look like hair. Uh, looking at the back of the armor, you can just see a lot of nice detailing. It just looks really nice. At the back we have the plasma caster, which is one of the Predator's signature weapons. And the plasma caster comes up. It's on that arm. You can, you know, rotate it that way. It's also on a ball joint right there. So you can move that around like that. Now you see a cable that's coming off the mask and that goes into the back of the figure. You can hide that a little bit better. I guess I should have done a better job at that. Um, you can just kinda put the hair over it so you don't see it as much. Um, like so. So the reason for there being a cable running from the mask to the back is because there is a switch right here. And that will turn on the LED lights on the helmet right there. And of course the lights on the helmet were like the sights that the Predators used in conjunction with the plasma caster. Those three dots were pretty iconic. They would show up on the enemy right before the Predator would blast them. So that's a nice touch by Hot Toys, uh, you know, putting those LED lights in the helmet. If we turn off the light, you can see the lights a little bit better. All right, now moving on down to the midsection. You can see the nice skin tones on the Predator. There's some darker skin tones on the side. The abs and the pecs are a little bit whiter. Same thing with the arms, there's some white. And then the dark, darker skin tones on the sides. Um, so that's nice. Uh, those are really nice paint applications. Uh, I mean, the toy is just very, very gorgeously painted. We also have this mesh wiring right there. It's actually just like string. Um, that's a nice touch. Uh, the, the Predators have that on their body. Uh, now I do want to note that in the movie, the mesh wiring looks a little bit thinner than it does on the toy. Um, I imagine that they use this thread just because uh, if they use something a little bit thinner, uh, it might break. I mean, you have the wiring on the arms, so stretching it out might break it at some point. Well, maybe not so much with the arms. But, with the legs, there's a little bit more uh, stretching of the wire when you move the knee joints like that. Moving on to the arm guards, the right one has these wrist blades on them. The blades are made of a nice metal. Uh, they're nice and pointy. Um, they're not horribly pointy though. You don't have to worry too much about cutting yourself with them. Um, and you can put them in and out like so. They don't really move too much. They don't go in and out of the uh, arm guards a whole lot, but you can do that if you like. And then the left arm guard, that opens up to reveal some symbols. It's that display panel that the Predator would use. Uh, ultimately, if the Predator couldn't win, if it knew it was going to die, it would use that panel to self-destruct. So, another iconic piece of the Predator's gear very faithfully represented in this toy form. Um, moving down, as we saw earlier, we have some more of that um, you know, thread meshing on the legs, some nice leg guards, and the feet. Turning this around real quick, we can check out the back of the legs. So again, nice paint detail on those. Um, just everything is really nicely done. The back skirts and the back armor. Then we have the bone pouch of the Predator, right there. 
having a little bit of trouble keeping this guy upright sometimes. Um, the ball joints on the ankles, uh, they've loosened up a little bit and uh, sometimes the guy doesn't want to stand up. So there is that, but besides the fact, uh, this is a very nice looking toy. Um, you know, Hot Toys figures command a premium price, but you're getting a premium product for what you're paying. So um, that's nice, but that's not all. This figure is very well accessorized. Um, it's got a ton of stuff. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the stand. There is that. Um, it helps with the fact that, you know, the joints on the uh, figure, the uh, ankle joints on my figure have loosened up a bit. So you can always plop the figure on there and it kind of goes in that crotch area. Those arms just kind of help hold it right there. Oh. It'd be easier to do this if there wasn't a camera in front of my face between me and the toy. Well, there we have the Predator standing up nicely with a little help from the stand that's included. Now on the base of the stand we have the Predator 2 logo and also the name of the toy, City Hunter Predator. So besides the stand we also get some mandibles for the Predator. And here we have the Predator sans mask and sporting his mandibles. You basically just take the mask off and then the mandibles attach to the slots on the side and also like the jaw on the bottom has to be attached. Um, so anyways, um, it looks good. Very faithful to the uh, movie. This is one ugly mother, as they would say in the Predator movies. Um, it just looks great. It showcases the nice paint applications once more. You got those nice skin tones. It just looks very lifelike. Uh, you got those dark eyes, or the dark, you know, parts around the eyes. And then those uh, green eyes, uh, just very creepy looking. Uh, very nice, uh, just very very lifelike like I mentioned before a good representation not a good an outstanding representation of what the predator looked like in the movie and here we have the other set of mandibles with the mandibles extended out um, you know if this figure didn't already look creepy enough it just looks a lot more scary as it's kinda of screaming at you um, ready to attack so again a nice addition very cool uh, makes the toy a little bit more expressive and since we're here and we're swapping out the mandibles and whatnot um, the Predator also comes with two oxygen masks let me get them closer so it focuses there we go uh, this one has those tabs on them right there so you can attach it to the face you know in the same way you would attach the mandibles the other one doesn't have anything this is just for him to hold and here we have the Predator with one of the oxygen masks on and it's holding the other one. So real quick let me just show you the oxygen mask uh, so you can see a little bit better what that looks like. Um, check out that detail just looks nice. Um, the oxygen mask comes down and you can attach it to a hole in the back so that's pretty neat. This release also comes with a second lower part of the left arm and that's the bloody stump. Um, uh, as you you know, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, the uh, Predator loses one of the arms in his fight with Danny Glover. So that's to represent that part of the movie when he loses that arm. Um, I think if I remember correctly, the Predator is about to self-destruct and Danny Glover is smart enough to know what's going to happen or, you know, he, he knows something bad is going to go down and he decides to chop off the Predator's arm before anything does go down. Lucky for the Predator, though, he comes with his med kit. Uh, it's really nice. Just some good detail on this also. It extends and it also opens out. You can see the instruments on the inside of the med kit. And that panel opens too. And you can see those nice silver instruments that the Predator uses to heal itself with. Oop. And there is a spot for the med kit on the back also right there um, yeah, it's backwards there we go just pop it on so the predator can have the med kit handy for whenever it runs into major trouble so enough about those accessories let's jump into the weapons that are included with this toy first of all we have the smart weapon the extendable disc and you can put the disc on the skirt of the predator 
It's got that indentation that kind of looks like the back side of the disc. And you just pop it on there. And the Predator can hold the disc for whenever it needs it. Um, it stays on okay. Uh, sometimes it will fall off though, so uh, the fit isn't the greatest between the skirt and the weapon. And you can also have the Predator hold the smart weapon. You just extend it out. And then you stick the fingers on this just one hand. Um, this is the only hand you can do it with. It's made specifically for the smart weapon. Um, it holds it like that just by sticking the fingers into the slots. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to the smart weapon. Here we have the projectile neck cowling. Another one of the Predator's weapons. And this you can stick on the hand. Uh, it's a left hand. Um, again, just like the right arm for the smart weapon. Uh, this hand is made specifically to hold this weapon. And you do it just by sliding the fingers into the neck cowling. And so, you know, you just stick the fingers in like that. And the left hand will hold the neck cowling projectile thingy. And if you want, you can also pop this peg on the weapon into the hole right there. And so the weapon can stay on the leg for safekeeping. And by far the coolest weapon that the Predator comes with is the extendable and retractable spear. It can be extended quite far out, as you can see. Each side extends just like the other. And then you just pop that into the Predator's hand. So, very cool weapon. Um, the ends are a bit pointy actually. Uh, it's actually packaged with some foam on the tips. That way you don't poke yourself right when you take them out. Um, so you got to be a little bit careful. Uh, not too much. I mean, you got to press on them pretty hard to poke yourself hard enough probably to bleed. But there is that. And uh, it's got some nice detail on it. Kind of looks like it's made out of like a tree bark or something. Um, there's also a panel on the weapon kind of like the panel that you see on the arm guard of the Predator. So, it's a cool weapon. Uh, my favorite so far in the set. Alright, and then now that we're done with the weapons, another extra that's included with this, it's pretty cool, but kind of creepy, is this skull with the spine attached to it. For those who remember the Predator movies, they used to take the skulls of their victims as trophies. So that's a neat little extra, you know, a little creepy, but nonetheless a pretty cool addition to the toy if it wants to hold it. There we go. So as you can see, the Predator also comes with a nice assortment of hands. The only real nitpick I have with the hands is that each weapon is really meant to be used with only one arm because there is only one um, hand attachment meant to be used with that weapon. So you remember the smart disc was only meant to be used with the right hand and the neck cowling projectile was only meant to be used with the left hand and so forth. Um, the right hand really does most of the holding. The uh, projectile neck cowling is really meant to be used only with the left hand. Now let's talk about articulation real quick. I'm just going to highlight most of the articulation on the toy. And as I mentioned earlier, the uh, ball joints on the feet are a little bit loose on this figure. Uh, there's a ball joint for the head, you know, on the neck I should say, more accurately. Um, that's actually another one of the negatives of this toy. The head pops off fairly easily. Uh, the ball joint doesn't do a very good job at keeping the head on. And that's a little bit more concerning when you have the mask on because the head will pop off and then the mask will just dangle there by the cable that connects the mask to the back of the toy. Uh, luckily it hasn't snapped, um, but that is kind of scary to see the head pop off and then the head just dangling there. Um, you know, it's a pretty expensive toy. I would hate to break any of it. Uh, moving on, the shoulders are also on a ball joint. The elbows are single jointed. Um, the elbow joints are a little bit tough on these figures. The wrists are on a ball swivel. And this brings me to another one of the things I didn't like about this toy. 
this arm in particular, the right one, has a tendency of coming off at the wrist, uh, including the wrist joint, the whole thing just pops off. And then you gotta stick the peg back in there. And it's kinda hard to maneuver in there sometimes because you have the blades getting in the way. Um, I don't wanna scratch the paint putting the arm back in, or the hand I should say, not the arm. Putting the hand back in, don't wanna scratch that paint job. The thighs are on a ball joint and they also have a swivel on them. So you got some nice range of motion there. The knees are single jointed, as we saw earlier when I demonstrated how the um, the netting on the legs kind of moves a little bit. And then finally, the um, feet, or the ankles I should say, are on a ball joint as I mentioned earlier. So there you have the City Hunter Predator by Hot Toys. It's an awesome looking figure, uh, you know, of a very nicely detailed suit. Um, for those who remember the first Predator, that suit had less detail in it. And this one, uh, because of the fact that they gave the people making the suit for the second movie a little bit more time to make it, this suit ended up being a little bit more detailed than the one from the first movie. And Hot Toys has done a really good job at capturing what that suit looked like in the movie. As I mentioned, it is a little bit hard to play with sometimes. Um, you got some loose joints, some harder joints, um, and also some joints that just like to pop off, like the head and the wrist joints. But it does look good, and it comes with a lot of cool weapons and accessories and pretty much anything you could want with a City Hunter Predator toy. Um, this is actually my very first Hot Toys review. Um, it popped my cherry, uh, I, and I love what I see. You get a lot of good bang for your buck with the Hot Toys releases. Um, that being said, I kind of have to stop myself now from going out there and buying more. I mean, I love the Predator. I'm not even that big of a fan of the Predator franchise, uh, but this has really made me want to go out and pick up some of the other releases that are out, and maybe even pre-order some of the future releases, like the Guardians of the Galaxy ones. Um, I definitely wouldn't mind having a Rocket Raccoon, a Groot, and at least a Star-Lord, you know, to add to my collection. So this has been another Collection DX review. Uh, this is Luis, otherwise known as Sentai Seiya. So let me know what you thought. Um, do you like this release? Uh, do you like the Predator 2 movie at all? Uh, let me know what you thought of this review. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.